Hi, I'm Naomi. Hope you are managing to stay fit and following Children Rangers TV to connect you with nature from home during the lockdown. We've got a new ranger helping today. No one knows their name. Some say they eat only twigs and leaves and drink only compost tea. We call them the stick. Previously on Children Ranger School TV. Ranger John showed us how to chill out and connect with nature. To listen out for the bird life all around us. Look around carefully for wildlife wherever we are. Ranger JT told us about the wonders of nature and read some nature poetry. Ranger Paul drawed a bug hotel. Stop! Ranger Francesca made a crafty dream catcher. Ranger Steph woke up early one morning and showed us where to look for bugs. Ranger Layla made artistic tree pictures with twigs and glue. <coughs> nice one! Ranger Tony teased us with tales of teasels. There was quite a lot of snipping. He told us about teasels, a wild plant with spiky flower heads. Some more trimming, a bit about dropping things, more cutting. Who knew Ranger Tony was so fond of teasels? He did make an amazing hedgehog from a teasel. Look out for our next video on hedgehogs. Today I'm going to set you a challenge. From your daily walks, your window at home, in your garden, can you create a world alphabet of living things you have seen? Ask your parents, use books and the internet to find out their names. You can use their English or common names. And these, what language is that? Oh, those names are written in Latin. And the reason that we've got Latin names is so that scientists and gardeners and zoologists and all types of people in different countries know if they're talking about the same animal or plant. And they were written um, originally by a Swedish man called Carl Linnaeus and he got so frustrated with the names of plants and animals and birds being really long things like the red bird with a black bit on the back and all and it went on and it was such a long name he got fed up and he decided two names would be plenty and it's like a family name and then the name of the actual species that we're talking about so, wild alphabet names. Let's go. Finally, zoologist. 
Have fun with your wild alphabet. Bye from me. Oh, and bye from the stick, whoever you are.